Good morning and happy Tuesday, Taft Wizards. This is Mrs. Williams, your principal. Today is Tuesday, April 13th, 2021. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good job, boys and girls. So the weather today looks a lot nicer than yesterday. It should be sunny. Let me show you. And it should be a high um, in the 60s, like 64. Look at how beautiful that the clouds are. It's getting green out there. <clears throat> I like all of the seasons in New York, but spring is one of my favorites because I like to see all of the things turn beautiful colors and green. So today is Tuesday. So whatever special you have on Tuesday today, boys and girls, if you're working from home, Please go to that Seesaw class. If you are fully virtual, you're fully virtual all the time, um, your special area teacher for Tuesday will be meeting with you today. So um, check out the link for your Google Meet today in whatever capacity the special area teacher sends that to you. And students who are coming to school today, you just have your Tuesday special. All right, so a lunch, lunch today is chicken nachos, um, top with lettuce, tomato, and a creamy cheese sauce served with chilled milk and fruit. And our sandwich for today is ham and cheese. Our lunch tomorrow is Big Daddy's Pizza with assorted toppings, Caesar salad, chilled milk and fruit. And our sandwich for tomorrow is turkey and cheese. Our Choose Love quote for today, let's see. It is coming from the Choose Love calendar and today is the 13th. Ooh, say something nice to everyone today. So everyone you see today, I want you to say something nice. Give them a compliment. Tell them how um, how nice it is that they're helping you. Tell them how much you appreciate them. Maybe compliment them on something that they are wearing or something that they said. I just saw my earring was backwards. So make sure you say something nice to everybody today, everybody that you see. All right, so today our cohort one students are coming to school. So our Tuesday, Wednesday kids, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Um, and we actually are in a much better place today than we were yesterday. The teachers and myself and some central office staff were here yesterday and our custodians. We did rearrange our desks in the classrooms because the old guidance, boys and girls, it said that um, with the barriers, there was no space limit. So remember, um, some of you that remember that were here last week, you saw that we put your desks together and um, we said, that, oh, that should be fine for lunch, that should be fine for the classroom. But then the New York State Department of Health changed their regulations and said, you have to be three feet apart and you have to all face the same direction. So no longer can you be facing each other. You have to all face the same direction. And we have to spread out the desks three feet apart. And quite a few of our classrooms here at Taft, we have 25 to 28 kids in a class. So that was a little bit tricky. We had to move other furniture out of classrooms today, yesterday um, and make space so we could spread out your desks. And also we have to get the cafeteria ready because music is currently in the cafeteria because music and PE and lunch or anytime your mask is off, you still need to be six feet apart. So we are moving music to our library because we have a huge library. So you'll have music in the library because you can spread out six feet apart so you can still sing. PE will still be outside. And if it's a rainy day, the gym is big enough um, for most of our classes where you could be six feet apart. Uh, for aerobic exercise. If there's too many students in the gym and we have to be inside, then you just won't do aerobic activities. So it's when you're breathing heavy or singing that you have to be six feet apart. And it's when you're eating and your mask is off, you have to be six feet apart. So that's why we had to make sure all of that is ready. And we still have to move furniture between buildings because our other elementary schools have a lot of tables. So we need to prepare desks to go over to those other buildings. Um, and so for lunch, half, this week everybody is the same, but next week half of the class, because there will be 25 to 28 kids in a class, half of the students will go to the cafeteria and the teachers need to keep track of who goes to the cafeteria so they have to create schedules like lunch cohort schedules of who's going to the cafeteria each day so they know who's in the cafeteria, who's in the classroom, and we're making sure everybody is six feet apart. So our cafeteria can't fit all the kids like we used to, so we have to spread everybody out. 
So we're still, that's my, pl my job today is to figure out how many kids we can safely fit in the cafeteria. And maybe some of you get to eat on the stage because we're gonna put tables up there too to make sure you're all spread out. So that's all for next week. All right, our PTA meeting is tonight. The, team ch the time changed from seven o'clock to 7.30. Again, the link is on our district website. Go to Taft, go down to the bottom, you'll see the events and in there it says Taft PTA meeting and it, it, there's a Zoom link. So you go to zoom.com, type in the meeting um, code and the password. Our virtual rainbow contest is still happening, so I'm looking forward to seeing all of your rainbows. I hope you get creative in creating a rainbow. It could be art, it could be physical. I am really looking forward to photos of rainbows. Maybe you take a picture of an actual rainbow, I'm not sure. Um, so take, take, um, take hold of your creativity for that. Our bingo night will be this Friday at seven o'clock. You do have to pre-register. And our yearbooks are on sale until Monday, April 26th, so make sure you order your yearbooks. And remember, uh, the theme is Better Together, so we're putting all of the students together as a grade level because this year we did have a lot of students, well, actually not a lot, but we had several students switch teachers this year um, due to the hybrid and the virtual and all of this and that. So instead of having our students with a classroom teacher, because which teacher would you be with if you had two teachers, um, we're putting the whole grade level together. So for example, all the first grade students will be in a first grade section and we'll have all the teachers in another section. So when you get your yearbook, you can circle who your teachers were this year. That way you remember when you get older. That's at least what I did to my yearbooks when I was uh, in school. I always wanted to circle who I had so I didn't forget when I got older. Okay. Our National Day celebrations today. It's National Scrabble Day. Have you ever played Scrabble? It says here, um, let's see, I'm gonna find out. It was invented back during the Depression, which is in the 1920s, 1930s, but it wasn't until 1948 that the um, trademark was made and it was finally called Scrabble and it was a game being produced for people to purchase. So Scrabble is usually played with two to four players and you create words of letters you know, you put letters together to make words and you keep score. So I don't know if you ever played Scrabble. It might be a good idea to pull it out and play some Scrabble today. Here's a little tidbit. It says in 2004, Scrabble was inducted into the National Toy Hall of Fame. That's pretty cool. And some cities sponsor a Scrabble tournament on Scrabble Day. I wonder if there will be any Scrabble tournaments today. It is also National Thomas Jefferson Day. Do you know who Thomas Jefferson is? He was the third president of the United States of America, and he was born on April 13th, so happy birthday, Thomas Jefferson, but in 1743. So he's not alive anymore, but I wonder if you could do the math and figure out how old would Thomas Jefferson be if he was still alive. So he's born in 1743, and it is now 2021. Hmm. He's most known for um, being one of the, the author of the Declaration of Independence. And actually, he was not a very good public speaker, which is sometimes how I feel. He's not a very good orator, they call, but he was an excellent writer. And he did a lot of reading. So reading and writing are connected, boys and girls. The more you read, the better you write. The more you write, the better you read. So Thomas Jefferson read many books. He had a library with over 6,500 books. That is a lot of books, so I hope that you get to read like Thomas Jefferson and practice your writing. He was also a lawyer and a scientist of agriculture, paleontology, and astronomy. So he really liked the science, um, and he was very curious about the weather. So he was, a he was into science, reading, and writing. And our third president and a lawyer, what great accomplishments, and the writer of the Declaration of Independence. So that's Thomas Jefferson. Our food for today is peach cobbler. So peach cobbler, it says, was originated during the 19th century, so the 1800s, and it is um, a stewed filling of peaches and then uncooked or plain biscuits or dumplings on top fitted together. And they say that it was possibly called a cobbler because the top of it looks like cobblestones. They're cobbled together. So I thought that was interesting. I was always wondering where the name came from. And in 2007, the world's largest peach cobbler was made at the Georgia Peach 
festival. So in Georgia, they're known for their peaches and it is called the Peach State. So they made the largest peach cobbler in the world in 2007. It had 90 pounds of butter, 150 pounds of sugar, 150 pounds of flour, 32 gallons of milk, and 75 gallons of peaches. I wonder how many peaches are in a gallon. I have no idea, but it was 75 gallons of peaches. So that's pretty incredible. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoy your Tuesday. We're looking forward to seeing our Tuesday hybrid students in school today and tomorrow, and we will see our Thursday, Friday kids on Thursday, Friday. Have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow morning.